Bent on selecting the best possible beef for his main course, Ian travelled to Monkridge Hill Farm near the village of Otterburn in Northumberland to meet organic livestock farmer Steve Ramshaw and taste two different types of beef. Good morning, Steve. How are you? All right? Very well yourself. Yeah, How yeah. are you? Okay, mate. Steve's been breeding cattle on his 750-acre farm for 25 years. He raises slow-growing breeds, gives them a varied diet, plenty of space to roam, and at least 21 days hanging time. He puts the quality of his beef down to these traditional farming methods. It's a typical organic farm. It's, it's very extensive, uh, a lot of space for animals. A variety of grasses from uh, herbridge grasses on the hill to, to the lowland pasture grasses. So it's all helping to add to the flavor of the beef. Steve has beef from two different breeds for Ian to taste today the belted Galloway and Aberdeen Angus. Ian's keen to find out what separates them when it comes to flavor. Okay, a bit, bit of both here. Um, the Galloway, which we've looked at, belted Galloway, a little bit more color in the fat because it's been on grass longer. The Angus, slightly different. Um, well marbled right through. Uh, fat's a bit creamier because it's probably been finished inside and add a little bit more uh, cereal in its diet just to give it that fat level which we require. So which breed will seal it for Ian? The belted Galloway goes under the knife first. OK, the proof of the pudding. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic bit of beef, Steve. Not too strong. A little bit of fat in there. But will it top the Aberdeen Angus? Slightly different flavour. Yeah, definitely. Really juicy, really tender. Guess there's only one for me. It's got to be the Aberdeen Angus. 